Okay, this is Mr. Renfro. Having some students having difficulty with uh, dividing fractions and mixed numbers. So I've prepared this little video to kind of review. So if you want to watch it at home, you can do that. Uh, when we divide fractions and mixed numbers, we use a method called keep, flip, change. And uh, KFC for short. Uh, the students know about that. And it's not Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, but we use this method to help us keep what we're doing straight when we do division of fractions. In this problem, you'll see two-thirds is divided by six-twelfths. How we do this is we, uh, we keep the initial fraction, the first fraction, two-thirds, we will keep it. So that's where the K comes from. Uh, keep the first fraction. We're going to flip or invert the second fraction from six-twelfths to twelve-sixths. Then we're going to change the sign from multiplication to, excuse me, division, from division to multiplication. Then we look to see if these fractions diagonally or cross ways can be simplified. Three twelfths is diagonal, and that can be simplified to one fourth. And then two sixths is diagonal, and it can be simplified to one third. Now we have uh, our, our fraction simplified and we can multiply the new numerators one and four and get four and the new denominators one and three and get three. So we're left with an improper fraction of four thirds. You cannot leave it improper so we must divide uh, the denominator three into the numerator four which will go one whole time and then we have one left over That'll be our new numerator. And the remainder is always the numerator. And then the denominator stays the same. So our answer for this problem, how many six twelfths going to two thirds is one and one third. The next problem is a whole number divided by a fraction. Now whole numbers are, are not that difficult to deal with. All we do is make them into a fraction. And we do that by putting the whole number over one. Any number over one is, is always equal to itself. So uh, 4 will be 4 over 1. Now it is a fraction. 4 over 1 is the same as 4 divided by 3 eighths. Now we use the same method. Keep, flip, and change. So we'll keep the initial fraction at 4 over 1. We'll flip the second fraction from 3 eighths to 8 thirds. And we'll change the sign from division to multiplication. Next, we will see if we can cross simplify. Three fourths cannot be simplified, and one eighth cannot be simplified. So we must go ahead and multiply our numerators, four and eight, and get 32. And then one and three, we get three. Again, we're left with an improper fraction. We can't leave our fractions improper with our answers, so we must divide. Uh, our denominator into our numerator and three will go into the initial three one time with nothing left over we bring down our next number two and three will go into two zero times with two remaining so our new answer will be a mixed number of ten whole with three, with excuse me, with two left over, and the denominator will stay the same. So ten and two thirds is our answer. The last problem I would like to do is a mixed number divided by a mixed number. Now, we cannot divide these as they are. We must change them to improper fractions by multiplying the whole number two in the first mixed number times the denominator five we get 10, two times five is 10. Then we will add the numerator of one, and that will give us a new fraction or improper fraction of 11 fifths. Again, multiply the whole number, two times the denominator five, get 10, and add the numerator to get 11. Okay, and that will give us 11 fifths. Divided by, we'll do the same thing to the next one, two, the whole number two times the denominator two gives us four, Plus the numerator one will give us five halves. Now we use the KFC method to solve this. So keep, 
flip, change. Keep the first fraction, 11 fifths. Flip the second fraction from five halves to two fifths. And then change the sign from division to multiplication. Once we've done this, let me see if we can cross simplify. Two fifths cannot, five elevenths cannot. So we must go ahead and multiply our numerators. 11 times two is 22. And five times five is 25. This is a proper fraction. So this fraction cannot be simplified. So it is our final answer. 22 25 is our answer. So I've showed you in this video how to divide two fractions, how to divide a whole number in a fraction, and how to divide a mixed number by a mixed number using the keep flip change method. I hope that this helps. Uh, if you guys have any comments or anything, please leave them below. Thank you.